We've just finished up an epic camp in the middle of Tasmania. We witnessed our first glimpse of the Aurora Australis and I caught my first ever rainbow trout. But on pack up day, things got a little bit scary. The weather forecast was for strong winds and as we were packing up, a pine tree fell about 60 meters from our camp. It fell right next to our neighbor's camp. I mean, if this thing had fallen the other way, it would have fallen through the middle of their camp and probably would have killed someone. As it was, the tree fell across the road, blocking our exit and trapping us in there. Me and a couple of blokes from the other camps worked together to clear the tree that was blocking our exit, and in this time, two more trees came down about 100 metres from our camp. So we have just packed up in record time. Brett and some of the other guys that were camped here have chopped away the tree so we could get out. Another two more trees fell while we were packing everything up. Whew, that was scary. Suffice it to stay, they were a little stressed and upset and um, everyone else there is kind of packing up to leave I guess which is probably the smartest thing just that tree just cracked out of nowhere it's pretty pretty crazy thankfully we made it out of camp safely and on to our next adventure we're coming into the Mount Roland area we're now only about 20 kilometers from Davenport and we're almost back where we started. Mount Roland is an absolutely stunning mountain range and it holds a special place in Mel's heart, which we'll tell you about later. But it's the reason that we've come here and there's something specific that we're hoping to do while we're here. G'day fam fam and welcome back to another vlog. We are at the Gowrie Caravan Park it's got to be the tightest little caravan park I've ever seen. This is us. This is the neighbour. There is probably not even enough space to pull out the awning. But it is nicely positioned right in front of Mount, Mount Rolling, which is pretty cool. And there's a ton of things to do here, so luckily we're not going to be spending too much time at the caravan park. We'll just roll straight on with the episode and show you what we got up to while we were out here. All right, so Tasmania is famous for its hikes. We haven't done a proper hike yet here in Tasmania. We were hoping to climb Mount Amos in Freycinet, but the weather didn't play ball, so we are now off on our very first hike. This one means something special to Mel. I'll let her tell you about that. But before we get started, we've got to fill out the walking logbook. You know you're on an actual hike when there's a logbook to fill out. Party leader's name, is that me, dear? Yes, dear. So today we are hiking Mount Roland. Probably not Mount Roland. <laughs> I think that's Mount Roland. Shall I do it again? No, keep going. Well, so when I was a kid, I used to go to my grandparents' house for morning tea every Sunday with all my family. I still did the tradition with my kids until we left to travel. And there would be this beautiful painting on the wall of Mount Roland. So I'm so excited to be here, so excited to climb this mountain, just very emotional to me. You excited for this walk, dear? I am, actually. I'm pretty excited too. <laughs> I even went out and I picked up this brand new camera mount. I call it the hands-free. Ooh, the hands-free, yeah, I like drop this. It, drop it like that and the camera works all on its own. Wow, that's exciting. We should patent it. Yeah, I was thinking about it. It would be our first product to market. Yeah, so that's a trip in hands-free camera mount. That's right. <laughs> so Mount Roland is 1,233 meters high. Yes. It says that it should take four to six hours. I think with us and the kids, we might be looking at more like seven hours. Actually, I should start the timer on my watch. I'll do that. And yeah, I'm excited. And then yeah, when you're done with the mount, you just back it comes. And in use again. The Pretty sloping, cool. the sloping sound is part of the effect. Alright, it says we've got we've come two hours, we've got an hour and a half to go. The place that we stopped and rested was loaded with mosquitoes. Insanely loaded with mosquitoes, so we couldn't stop for very long. Well, after a hard slog up. Did you say it was a hard slog, Mel? I say it's just 
Yep, up, 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 up. Would your red face say it was a hard slog? Oh, yeah, let's pick up my red face. <laughs> We've come up to a clearing. It's a cool little boardwalk that we're walking along. And flowers. And flowers as far as the eye can see. Beautiful. It's a bit of a nice reprieve from what we've been through. That's it, the last little leg. Deep breaths, heart rate 145 and rising. That's about the peak, I think. We have now traveled eight and a half kilometers. So I'll make this a 17 kilometer round trip. Super proud of you, Owen. Well done. I, uh, I don't know that I, I would say that I'm scared of heights, but I have a healthy respect for heights. It's uh, scary. And, uh, you look around here and it's um, definitely making my legs feel weak. Yeah. All right, the Svetos have conquered Mount Roland. How do we feel? Good. Very good. I'm glad we've done it. That's, that's far and away the most challenging hike we've ever done as a family, so well done everyone. Yeah, I win. I can't believe that's the biggest thing eight, we've ever done. Eight and a half k's up here. 1,233 meters of elevation, was it? Yeah. It's pretty cool, but uh, as they say, what goes up must go down. So we gotta go back down now, guys. Yeah! <laughs> we made it. We've made it. Seven, seven and a half hours. But not unscathed. <laughs> How many stacks did you take, dear? I had four. One was a good one. Like, I've bruised, like, all one side and I banged my head and just, it's slippy on the way down. The kids each fell once. Only on the way down, though. Like, on the way up, you don't, but on the way down, because there's so many steep bits, like, yeah, cave. But <laughs> there's just uh, one last thing to do. Even Owen managed to do it all the way up to the top. I'm so proud of him. This is his biggest hike. This is his first hike up a mountain, really. <laughs> We're so stoked. We did it. Now, are we going to be able to do anything tomorrow? <laughs> oh. <laughs> My legs don't work. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> Here we are. Sunny Solomon Cave. Nine degrees. Brr. So we're going to do King Solomon's Cave this morning. Um, the Maripuka Caves are currently closed due to flooding, which is a bit of a bugger because we really wanted to do them. Hopefully we can do some other caves in Tasmania, but we're excited to do King Solomon's today. Should be fun. King Solomon Caves were absolutely stunning. We've been in a few caves since hitting the road, but I've never seen anything like this. There were so many stalactites and stalagmites and interesting formations that sparkled in the lights. We learned that there are actually over 400 caves in the Mole Creek region, but only two are open to tourists. It's definitely the right place to be if you're a caving enthusiast. Today we're finally gonna learn about Tasmanian desert. We're going into Tuana Wildlife Sanctuary. They're like right here. I've never seen a coral in my life, in real life. So this is so exciting. And there's two of them in there. And there's a pink queen. Look, this is a swan. It's a marsupial carnivore, this. 
Mm. What does a marsupial? Mm. What does a marsupial mm. have? A, a mammal. Pouch. A pouch. That's right. Pouch. So they're and they're a mammal. That's right. That means they give birth to live young, Do and they, they feed them milk. And they eat meat. They're cannibals. And these guys are very rare. Never seen one on the mainland. They're getting devastated by the cane toads, unfortunately, because they are carnivores and they will be eating the cane toads and then they die from the poison. Mm. So this is super amazing. But, can't, but uh, yeah, I don't think toads are such a problem here in Tasmania, which is why they're still few around. They're a lot bigger than I expected, but then again, everything in Tasmania is... <laughs> bigger and is fluffier. Bigger and fluffier, isn't it? It is. I spent an hour or so chilling and watching the quolls. It was awesome to get to see them so close. But the big draw card of the Trawana Wildlife Sanctuary would have to be the Tassie Devil exhibits. try to keep things very natural at the sanctuary. Instead of feeding the Tassie devils small chunks of meat, they give them a whole carcass of a native animal. It was fascinating watching this group of devils completely devour a whole paddy melon in about 15 minutes. And I mean everything. There was literally nothing left by the time they were done. Well, that was a really cool um, park. You can get up really close with the animals. The talk was very informative, so I suggest coming to see that. We did get to pat some cool animals. So that was fun. And I mean. <laughs> you don't get that close to Tasmanian devils anywhere else, I don't think. No, I don't think so. It's a pretty good park. I would rate it. For up getting up close and personal, I would rate it. Kids, did you have fun? Yeah! I had so much fun. Yes! <laughs> it was the best! And we're very excited to see our first crawl. That was super cool. Today we're going to Tasmania and I'm really excited so let's go! Yay! He's so excited. Owen is so insanely excited <laughs> for this. <laughs> Bye! Wait for us or you get lost! So this right here is called the balance maze. Are you going to make it kids? Yes. yes. If we fall off we have to start again. He's not going to make it. <laughs> you should just spend the whole day here working on your balance. And your, uh, it's not my work. balance, darling. It's not my balance. Mel, Mel, you're our girl. If you can't do it, no one can. I know I'm not Go, Mel. Thank you. You made you it. Plug Yay, in. round of applause. Woo, so big that I couldn't fall off. <laughs> Where's the ball? Come back. We, we don't, don't want to lose you. you. <laughs> Why can't they hear us? Can we retire? No. Okay, we'll just have to keep making videos. Hey, hey guys. Does anyone know where the toilet is? No. Hold it. <laughs> Alright kids, what did you think of Tasmania? I loved it so, 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 so much. Definitely consider bringing your family here. So much fun. If you uh, get the opportunity. <laughs> I think we're going to leave the vlog here guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.